Hey guys, it's Lori. Just checking in with you with my update. I did a video yesterday, but I didn't do any uh, update. So I will do that now for the last couple days. Today is day 24 of my P3. I know I'm past day 21, so I could call it P4 if I wanted, but I just stay in P3, so um, meaning to anyway, intending to for a while. I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> All right, so anyway, a couple days ago on day 22, I didn't vlog because I was tired. I don't have a doctor's excuse or anything. I was just tired. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that day I uh, kind of had the scoots in the morning because let me just tell you, I don't recommend two different things of with maltitol in it in the same day because you pay for it the next day. I had the day before that I had had an Atkins bar during the day in the afternoon and later at night I didn't even think about having already had that so later at night I had sugar-free chocolate chips with some almonds and I shouldn't have done that <laughs> but I was down point two that day I was at 122 even and um, oh yeah we had our mower repaired and the guy it's this little old man and he's so sweet he's so nice he I just found out about him and, and I'm so glad because he does really good work and he actually came and picked up my mower on Monday and delivered it to me on Tuesday and he fixed it it's like a brand new mower now and it's, it's an old mower but it's a Husqvarna mower and it's like really really good so I wanted to get it fixed I didn't want to get a new one anyway the handle fell off the blade needed replaced anyway when he brought the mower back to me he brought me two little containers they're like butter dishes of his famous homemade macaroni salad it's like well you know thank you <laughs> but I can't eat it no I didn't say that but I thought dang it really looked good too and he's like oh I make this for the there's a church group over in in Finley Ohio that he, he makes it for this church and it ha they do a lot of youth stuff and he makes the macaroni salad for all of their events and everybody just loves the macaroni salad so he's he's like you gotta try that and my secret is this and this and he's telling me all about how he makes like how many pounds he makes at once and all this and he's you got go get a fork go get your fork right now and taste it and I'm like okay so I did and it was really really good so anyway after he left I ate probably half the container but the thing about it is I was starving when I ate it I was so hungry I'm like I'm hungry enough that I know this is not going to affect me. So, anywho, um, I was up point four the next day, but it's, I don't think it's because of the macaroni salad. I think it's because later at night I had um, I had a burger and a salad that night for dinner, and when I ate this, I ate the salad first, and I was really full, and I ate the burger anyway, and I really shouldn't have because I was really really full. Then I proceeded to have three pieces of chocolate delight. Yeah, then I might as well just admit it all. I was getting my peanut butter and celery around for lunch the next day, and I had to go and lick that damn spoon again more than once. Trust me, I did more than just lick the spoon. I got to stay away from the peanut butter, and it was late at night. I, I wasn't hungry at all. But anyway, I was up 0.4 the next day. Still not really a big deal. I was at 122.4, which was yesterday, and that put me at one pound over my LIW. No big deal. So, I meant for yesterday to be a steak day, not because I needed to do a correction day, but it was kind of like a preventative maintenance thing because this coming Saturday and, and two days from now is our little town's um, summer fest. So, of course, we got to have our fried vegetables, and we might have a few french fries. And we might have, I'll probably get a Texas tenderloin and, and eat, share it with my grandson. That's what I did last year, and it worked out really good because the Texas tenderloins are like freaking huge. And they just come on this little bun. They just have little buns, you know, like regular buns. So it's like this tiny little bun in the center of this great big Texas tenderloin. So I cut off the outside of it, and I give my grandson the middle part with the bun. And I just eat what was on the outside, and that's perfect. So and I know it's got breading and whatever. I don't eat the bun. 
But I don't know if I'll have any fries or not. They always have fried pickles. That's my grandson's favorite. I probably won't eat any of those, but I will have some of my fried cauliflower and broccoli, and they, they do fry a fried vegetable thing, and I will have some of those. But I am going to take some carb blockers. I don't know whether they work for me or not, but I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them and just see what happens. So yesterday was a total fail of a steak day. I went to that farm market yesterday, and no way. I couldn't do it. I, I could not resist that cantaloupe. I cut it up, and oh, I was just snacking away on it. It was so good. It tasted like candy, I swear. I love cantaloupe. Love it. Then um, I did end up eating my steak, but eh, it wasn't really a steak day. And those veggie chips I showed you guys yesterday, oh, oh my. My in-laws came over yesterday. We ended up getting company. My in-laws came over, and my daughter Courtney and, and my um, my nephew Austin came over with her. They're like best buds. And uh, everybody was tasting the veggie chips. Everybody just loved them. And oh my gosh, I ate like almost the rest of the bag after they left. And it wasn't a very big bag, but still, that's not exactly something I should have had on a steak day. <laughs> I do better on my unintentional steak days than I did on my intentional one. So anyway, yeah, and I had a couple pieces of chocolate delight later too. So all in all, it didn't eat bad yesterday, but it wasn't a steak day. So I was down point two today. So, um, my, and I woke up this morning, my stomach was real sour. And I don't know, maybe it was just too much cantaloupe and veggie chips for me, like, at once. But, yeah, it, it, I had a real sour stomach this morning. It lasted for a couple hours this morning, then it finally just kind of went away. But, um, gosh, what did I eat today? I had my celery with peanut butter at lunch, and I had, I actually didn't even eat it. I only ate about half of it. What else did I have? Because I didn't write it down yet. Um, I don't, oh, I had half of an Atkins bar. I won't be eating anything else with mouth telling it today, I promise you that. Um, what else did I have? Um, I don't think I had anything else that was good, but I did have more than that. I had, um, I, cleaned, I cleaned up the house of sin today, the buffet of sin house. So <laughs> I had a couple of uh, the miniature Reese cups and some... Uh, some kind of, I don't know, party mix. It had like a bunch of breadstick things in it and pretzels and stuff. And yeah, I had a couple handfuls of that. And I had a maple nut cluster thing. Yeah. So that wasn't good. But you know what? I feel like I'm down right now. I feel like really slim right now. So I'm not even worried about it. If I'm up tomorrow, if I feel like this, what's it matter? You know, what's the matter with the number of the scale on the scale is if you feel good. So, I mean, that's how I look at it. But anyhow, um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I really wanted to say about my stats. Oh, and my day 21 vlog that says um, popcorn results, I think. Somebody disliked that vlog, so I'm going to need somebody to go like it for me so I can kind of counteract that dislike. <laughs> oh, man, I just, you know... It's, if I have a dislike, that's okay as long as I have a like to counteract it. So, you know, somebody go do that for me. That'd be cool. So, yeah, and yesterday when I got my hair cut, you know what? I felt so bad. I feel I feel bad now because I lied about it. I really do because I told her my mom did it before when I really I had cheated on her and went somewhere else. I'm going to feel bad about that for days. I'm not a liar, you guys. I'm just not. When my dad first asked me how I lost my weight and I told him low carb, I, I lied. That's not how I lost I, I couldn't stand myself for several days. I had to finally had to call and tell him the truth. I don't know. I'm not a liar, you guys. I'm just not. I can lie about like Santa Claus and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm just not a liar. I can't stand it. I'm not going to tell her the truth because I don't want to feel bad or anything, but oh yeah. And I'll show you what else I did today. Um, I, I make the, the Maria Emmerich sub buns. I put a link in at the bottom of one of my last videos. I think it says something about the sub buns in the title. Anyway, um, I don't really like fooling around getting out my food scale, and that's why I measure my ingredients so they're real good and accurate. So I went ahead and made up some little packets of the dry ingredients. I measured it all out. I got like five of them made up. Just a little preparation. <laughs> kind of silly, but I just thought I'd show you guys. I don't, actually, it's not kind of silly. I kind of I like the idea. I think it's a good idea. Oh yeah, I just made a loaf of it too. I was going to do that the other night and didn't get to. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Here it is in the loaf pan. It's still pretty hot. I just got it out of the oven. Oh, it looks nice. 
Yeah, it's pretty warm. <laughs> okay. So I show you. That smells really good too. Wow. It smells nice. Okay. So I wanted to talk really quick about my, it's getting long, I'm sorry, my um, zucchini fries. JLM44JLM. 44 JLM. I'm not sure what your real name is actually. I don't know. Do you tell it? I don't know if you ever tell your real name. Anyway, okay, she had asked about my zucchini fries, and I'm just going to tell you real quick, if you're, if you're interested in how I make those, stay tuned for a second. If not, see ya. <laughs> All right, so I don't measure anything. I um, cut my zucchini into fries, you know, how big you want them, I suppose. And um, you need two bowls, and you put an egg or two in one bowl. I use egg substitute, so I just, like, pour a little in. And in the other bowl, crushed pork rinds, and it calls for shredded Parmesan cheese, but I used grated because I don't have any block Parmesan cheese. I just have the grated, so that's what I used. And uh, Italian seasoning, and I'm kind of generous with it um, because the, the actual recipe that I went by calls for um, seasoned breadcrumbs. So I just do it that way with the pork rinds, the Parmesan cheese, and the Italian seasoning. And... Um, so I throw the zucchini sticks in with the eggs, and I just like throw them all in sitting in the bowl, and it's like too many, but that's okay. I just like dig down to the bottom and get the ones that have egg on them and throw them into the dry ingredients and shake it around and lay them on a foil-lined pan that is coated with cooking spray or cooking oil, coconut, whatever, whatever kind of oil you want to put on it. Put a little oil on it so that it kind of fries them because you're going to put them in a 450 oven, 450 degree oven. And um, so you get them all laid out in, in a single layer on the baking sheet. And I, I usually take, like, what's left of my dry ingredients, maybe not all of it, but some of it, and, like, sprinkle it all over the top of them. And then I, I spray it with a light layer of cooking spray again, which you probably don't have to do, but I do. And uh, you bake them at 420, 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. I leave them in for closer to 30 minutes because there's a train because I like them dark. I like them well done. And I think I'm going to try it with some finely shredded um, different kind of cheese, some other kind of cheese. I don't know. See how that turns out. Anyway, yeah, this is getting really, really long and I'm going to go and get on a uh, line and make or order some, some more silly musk powder and coconut flour because I'm getting low. I don't like to be low. I like to be prepared, make sure I have it. All right, that's it for now. See ya.